So you want to know how to get into a top tier physics PhD program. Well, I have seven tips based on my own personal experience that might help you achieve that goal. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a physics PhD student at UC Santa Barbara. I'm starting my first year now, so I went through the application process pretty recently. It was a long and tedious process, so I was hoping I could share some of my experience to maybe streamline that process for you guys. I have roughly organized these tips going from more general to the most specific, so feel free to jump around and hopefully you can take something away from this video. Starting at tip number one, be a physics major and get good grades. It may sound obvious, but it is true. Grades are important, especially if you're coming from a school that doesn't have the biggest of physics programs. Compared to students applying from IVs or other top tier undergrad programs, you're kind of starting at a deficit. So making sure those grades are as good as they can be is a great place to start. It's not the end all be all, but it definitely shows a certain level of competency. Also, if the GRE is still required, which it wasn't for me, you should definitely study quite a bit and get a good grade on that. A GPA and GRE score are just numbers, but at the end of the day, certain programs are probably going to judge you by those numbers. They might not get you into the program, but they're definitely going to get you into consideration. Tip number two, do physics research. Your undergrad research doesn't have to be the same type of research you're going to do in grad school, and it definitely doesn't commit you to that type of research for life. So get involved and get exposed to what research is like. For one, this will tell you if you even like researching. If you don't, a PhD might not be the right way for you to go. The earlier you get exposed to research, the earlier you can tell if a PhD is right for you. Remember, fundamentally PhDs are about doing research. Also, undergrad research gives you very valuable experience that you can talk about in interviews or in your applications. And you might even get a resume boosting paper or presentation out of it. So whatever physics research you can get involved with, definitely do that. Number three, stay involved in the physics department. You're gonna need three letters of recommendation and preferably those won't be teachers that you only had once or twice. Ideally, I'd say your first one should be your research advisor. Secondly, you should have a teacher from a class where you excelled. And third, you kind of have a fill spot. Here, if you did more research with a different advisor, you could put in another research advisor. Or if you worked in a lab not doing research, but just as another set of hands, which is kind of something that I did in undergrad, you could get one of those professors to write a letter. It really kind of depends on a case-by-case -case basis, but definitely have a research advisor and definitely have a teacher. That last spot definitely depends on your own individual situation, but those first two should definitely be a research advisor and a teacher of a class where you excelled. Number four, become a physics tutor. I'm a little biased because I've been tutoring for like three years now, but seriously, it's a great way to keep your skills sharp and to strengthen your communication skills. In the words of Albert Einstein, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. Teaching is gonna challenge your own understanding of physics. And in tutoring, you might even learn some things that you missed the first time around. Plus, PhDs usually have a TA component to it. So if you're really interested in a PhD, tutoring isn't a bad way to go. Number five, reach out to professors at schools you're interested in early. Ideally, you'd be contacting them about six or more months before the applications go out. This shows that you're on top of your stuff, you're prepared, and you're also motivated. Plus, you're serious about the school, because they have research groups that you're interested in. Seriously, this could be the thing that gets you in the door. If you're competing with another student with the same grades, experience, etc., but you contacted the professors before, they're probably gonna pick you because they already know you. So if it's not too late, maybe shoot some of them emails. Number six, take a gap year. You don't have to hop into your PhD immediately after undergrad. And for some people, that's probably not the right way to go. By all means, if you want to go straight into the PhD, do it. But taking a year or two, to get some work experience, build your resume, and think about a PhD, it could strengthen your application and your motivation to do the PhD. I definitely recommend it to students who don't have good grades that are coming from unknown programs. If your undergrad experience doesn't show a school that you're gonna get there and you're gonna do good research, then take some time to do some work that is gonna convince them of that. Remember, they're investing in you. They want you to do good work, so you need to show them that you're gonna do good work. Lastly, number seven, take your time writing applications. Start looking at schools as a junior and aim to reach out to professors before summer. Spend your time during the summer trimming your list to about seven or 10 schools, and then spend your time working on the applications till they're due in November or December. It's probably gonna suck in that fall semester of your senior year, balancing school and applications, but it will pay off if you put the time in. Make your essays specific and grammatically flawless. Give them no reason to question your ability, but every reason to believe in your ability. You have to sell yourself. So do it well. If you're watching this, you've probably already done quite a bit to get towards your physics PhD. So have some confidence in yourself and keep working hard. And now I'd like to end with a favorite quote of mine. He who sweats more in training leads less in battle. George S. Patton Jr. Getting into a PhD program is all about preparation. Give yourself time and put the work in. It's not impossible. And if you're meant to be doing a physics PhD, you'll end up doing well. Well, that's it for now. Hopefully you learned something new in that. And hopefully this will make applications 
a little bit easier. Good luck.